Okay, so in this video I'll show you how to assemble your Tachyon weapon computer. And let's start by making sure you have all the required parts you're going to need. And that is the, the barrel sensor, the plastic housing, the screen protector, four M3 screws and nuts, one M2.5 screw, one M2 screw, the board itself, a CR1220 coin cell battery, a screen, a reset button, and finally a power source. For this video I'm going to use an 9 volt battery clip, but it's the exactly same process with the airsoft battery splitter cable. So I'll start the assembly by inserting the coin cell battery into the board and as you can see both on the battery and the board there's a large plus sign that indicates the polarity so it should be quite easy to know which way around it goes in. And now um, you're going to have to open the display connector if it's not already open and we just pull back these two black tabs and now plug in the display and take note that the gold plated contacts should be on the top not on the bottom like this but like this so push it in and now push in the tabs on the sides to secure it in place cool now I'll set this aside and after that you're going to have to pull all the cables you have through this hole in the bottom of the housing. So this is the, the barrel sensor, the reset button and finally the 9 volt clip. And after that you're going to plug all the cables into the board. So I'll start with the 9 volt clip. Um, take note that the positive side or the red cable should be on the bottom like this. And then the reset button whose polarity doesn't matter it goes both this way in, it goes both in that way it doesn't really matter. And finally the reset uh, or actually the barrel sensor and there's just one possible way to connect it, so you probably won't mess that up. And if you're still not sure which way the connections should go in, if you flip the board, right here there is a pinout guide for the pin header connector that should help you with the connections. Cool. So, if you take a close look into the housing, you'll see this standoff and the plastic pin on the top of it and the pin should go right through this hole on the board. So now you can insert the board into the housing so the pin lines up with the hole. Once it does you can also push the board through the pin. Um, sometimes on some boards the pin won't go all the way through and this is totally not a problem since we're going to also use this small screw, the M2 screw, to secure the board in place. Now comes the tricky part and that is the display, um, it should be like this at the start and now you're going to twist it sideways and insert it into the housing and after that you're going to push it in just a little bit and slide it into the bottom piece, all the way it goes and now you're going to need some kind of tool, for example a screwdriver because you're going to need to push the display, this part of the display, inside. Like this. You should click when it's done. After that, give it one last push from the side. So it goes all the way through. It should look like this when it's done. Cool. Um, 
Also, I forgot to mention that it's a good idea to test the board while it's still not completely assembled. So I'll connect the battery, flip the switch and it should light up. Cool. Uh, I'll test the sensor first. And you can use the, also some kind of tool like a screwdriver to just put it inside the sensor and it should start counting. I'll push the reset button and it resets. Okay, the board is working. I'll disconnect the battery. Okay, so once that is done, you can put the cover, the side cover on like this and make sure that the buttons can be pressed. Now use the M3 screws to secure the side cover in place. Now you can install the screen protector. This is optional, but since you already have it, I recommend that you use it. Use the M2.5 screw to hold it in place. And finally, you can attach the side clamp you should do that only once it's installed on your weapon and also use the M2 screws to tighten it up. And that's it, your unit is now completely assembled.